Hello, my name's Gabbo the Curiosity Monkey and I'm going to lead collective worship for us today. Shall we start with our school prayer? Dear God, as we light our candle, help us to be kind to each other and to do our best. Amen. Now, this half term, we're looking at the wow in the wonder of the world around us. The wow and the wonder of the world around us. And I love it because I'm learning lots about the world that we live in. And I'm learning a lot so that makes me go, wow, I'm discovering, I'm exploring, and I'm asking questions. And that's what I love because I love curiosity. Now, we probably all know that a kitten grows up to be a cat. And you probably know that a puppy grows up to be, yes, a dog. And a duckling grows up to be a, a duck, of course. But I wonder if you know what these following baby animals grow up to be. Perhaps as I'm reading them through, I'll pause for a moment and you could pop your hands up and let your teacher know if you've got an idea. Hopefully I'll leave it long enough. I wonder if you know what a joey grows up to be. What does a joey grow up to be? Hmm. Good question, Gabbo. Hmm. Well done if you said a kangaroo or a koala. In fact, there's quite a few animals uh, native to Australia that grow up from joeys to be their animal, uh, the adult animal. I wonder if you know what a fawn grows up to be. A fawn. Hmm. Little bit of thinking time. Well done if you said a deer. There are a few other animals as well, but the one I was thinking of is a deer. Fawns grow up to be deer when they're older. What about a gosling? What does a gosling grow up to be? A little gosling grows up to be... Hmm, think, 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 think. That's right, a goose. What about... Well, this is a tricky one, a kid. And I'm not talking about a human, I'm not talking about a baby becoming a human. What about an animal that when it's a baby is called a kid? Have a little think. Mm, any ideas? It's a goat, it's a goat. Again, a few other animals also grow up to be, uh, from kids to be their adult animals. But I was thinking of the fact, and we, I often talk about kids growing up to be goats. Now here's some unusual ones, which you probably won't be able to guess, but let's see how you get on. And if not, we'll just learn lots of new things. What about a puggle? Hmm, a puggle. Some of you thinking maybe it's a pug. It's not. It's a platypus, a duck bill platypus, like we looked at in worship right at the start of half term. What about a smolt? A smolt. What does a smolt grow up to be? You probably won't have guessed this one unless you like fishing. The answer is a salmon. A salmon grows up to be a smolt. Let's try a couple more. What about a hatchling? A hatchling. Hmm. There's a bit of a clue in that. What do you think grows up? Uh, from a hatchling? There are actually quite a few answers to this one. Many of the uh, reptiles and lizards that grow from, uh, are born from eggs, grow up to, uh, from hatchlings. Some of the more famous ones are the alligator, the turtle, and of course the dinosaur. When they're babies, they're called hatchlings. Okay, last one, I think. Let's go for a really tricky one. What about, and this is a good one to learn, something that you would definitely learn new for the first time unless you're an expert on this particular animal. What about a creer? A creer. Now there's two answers really that you can have here. What about a creer? What does a creer grow up to be? Thinking time. Ready to learn, ready to discover, 
The answer is a llama or an alpaca. There you go, go home and tell someone in your family that a baby llama or a baby alpaca is called a cria. I found it really interesting looking at what the baby names of animals are before they grow up. And now I've got a second quiz for you because I love learning new things and I love asking and thinking about really good questions. So, Mr. Harris is gonna show you some pictures of insect larvae, baby insects, before they become their adult version. And you've gotta have a look and see if you can work out or remember what type of insect they grow up to be. Here's the first one. So what does this little fella grow up to be? This little fella lives in water and then when he is old enough, he becomes, mm, some of you might remember from trips to Hilliers. Mm, the answer is a dragonfly. That picture before was a picture of a dragonfly nymph and it becomes a dragonfly. Here's the next one. This long and wriggly little fella is the larva of what insect? There's lots of them around at the moment. Loads, loads and loads flying around. There's a the little clue. This one turns into a crane fly. It was a crane fly larva. And this is the crane flies that you've probably seen all around school and all around when you've been out for walks and possibly around your gardens too. What about this one? This cute little grub. What does he become when he's older? The answer is, and this one's very hard, the answer is a bumblebee. It became a bumblebee. Now my last one is my favourite because I found lots of these in the garden over the summer holidays when I was doing some digging. Let me show you. Handsome fellas, aren't they? But what do they grow up to be? They're very big. You can see in the glove that they're uh, big uh, larvae there. What do they grow up to be? Wonder if any of you know. Little bit of thinking time. The answer is... A stag beetle. Those big uh, larvae grow up to be these amazing stag beetles. Now, stag beetles are really interesting. Like many of the other insects, they stay in their, uh, their baby form, their juvenile form, for lots of time and don't really spend much time as adults. They spend most of their time as juveniles. So a stag beetle larvae will stay underground, stay in the soil as... And let's find that picture again. They'll stay in the ground like this for three to seven years. Three to seven years they spend their lives like this, in the ground, in the soil. And how much time do they spend as a stag beetle? Well, actually, not very long at all. A few weeks, maybe months in the summer. And that's it. They spend most of their life as juveniles, as little beetles in the ground, as larvae. It's amazing. They wait so, so long to become their adult form and then they just have a few weeks and months as adults. So the question today is, what will you become? What will you grow up to be? I don't think you'll grow up to be a stag beetle. Don't think you'll grow up to be a duckbill platypus. You'll definitely grow up to be an adult human. But what kind of person will you be? What kind of person has God designed you to be? And the good news is that we don't have to wait till we're adults to use all the great gifts that we've been given. We don't have to wait till we're adults to make a difference in the world. We don't have to wait till we're an adult for everyone to see what we can do and how we can help others. 
The Bible says this. It says, you are young, but do not let anyone treat you as if you were not important. Be an example to show the believers how they should live. Show them with your words, with the way you live, with your love, with your faith and with your pure life. That was written by a man called Paul talking to uh, a young man called Timothy who was, was young but he was able to do amazing things because he uh, used the gifts that he had been given. And we've all got amazing gifts too and we can show them and shine with them today. We can make a difference in our world today. We don't have to wait three to seven years under the ground before we uh, become a stag beetle. We can show our gifts and we can show our talents and we can help those around us and show people how to live right now. Whether you're in year R, whether you're in year six, however old you are, you can show the world around you just um, how amazing God has made you to be. So I wonder what amazing things you're going to do today and what amazing people you're going to grow into be day by day. In the Bible, there was a, um, a young eight-year-old called Josiah and he became king when he was just eight and he did amazing things in turning a whole country, a whole nation back to God because they'd forgotten about God and an eight-year-old boy reminded them now, you don't have to be a king to make a difference. You can make a big difference in the world by doing little things. Comforting a friend, sharing what you have, or helping others to make good choices um, and do their best. So what can you do today to grow into the person you were made to be? Let's finish with a prayer. Dear God, Thank you that we are made in an amazing and wonderful way. Thank you that you've given each one of us special talents, special characteristics, special things that make us who you made us to be. Help us to use those talents and gifts to help others. Help us to make a difference, a positive difference to the people and the world around us. Today, help us to enjoy growing up to enjoy uh, learning, to enjoy discovering new things. We thank you for the wonderful world of nature around us. I thank you for stag beetles. I thank you for duckbill platypuses. I thank you for little puppies that grow into wonderful dogs. For all these things, we thank you. Amen. Let's finish with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. Do check out Mrs. Maxie's song for today as well on a separate link, and have a wonderful week. Looking forward next week to celebrating harvest with everybody on Wednesday. We're going to have our harvest celebration. And next week also starts uh, Walktober. Walking to school week, Walktober, lasting all month. A chance for us to really make an effort to come to school if we can. Walking, riding our bikes, scooting, so that we can help uh, make our world an even better place. More details on that to follow. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.